are you in Port Blair Andaman and can manage 2 3 hours then you must visit Kala Pani Museum Kala Pani Museum where history lives Kala Pani Museum is a history museum first of its kind in the country This museum takes one on a journey across the black waters right from the early andamans through the stone age tribes occupation of the nicobar islands by the european nations the first settlement of andaman islands 1857 war of independence the penal settlement the indian revolutionary movement the construction of cellular jail japanese occupation of andaman the reoccupation of the island in 1945 and finally the independence of india and the andaman and nicobar islands becomes the part of free india The Kala Pani Museum depicts history through dioramas, photographs, original documents, artifacts, oral history, lectures and documentaries. The history of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands during the tyrannical Japanese occupation is also the history of a foreign domination. Brethren who came with a promise of freedom but created a hell like situation and resorted to unaccountable tortures among the people living over there in Andaman. With the passage of time the situation went from bad to worse there was no ration available for distribution people started dying due to starvation blood dysentery and very very etc which continued to prevail in an epidemic form there was no medicine worth the name to get rid of the situation the japanese has a plan of round up of civilians in large number about 700 people were rounded up and taken to an unknown destination outside port blair in two japanese dongas and one big launch these poor people were thrown into the open sea in the darkness of the night most of them drowned and others who were seen swimming were machine gunned to death The Japanese arrested many innocent people on the false pretext of espionage 
and inflicted various forms of unbearable inhuman tortures on them to confess that they were the spies of the allied forces the wing number 6 of the cellular jail was filled to its capacity due to this mass arrest on 30th january 1944 unfortunate 44 victims were selected for death sentence these people were loaded in trucks and taken to a far off place called homfrey gunge which is about 18 kilometers away from port blair all of them were asked to sit in front of a l shaped trench firing a squad of japanese soldiers fired on these unfortunate victims and their dead bodies were pushed inside the trench before departing let me inform that photography or videography of photos and documents is strictly prohibited but yes you can take the images or picture of uh, dioramas you will find employee of the museum moving along with you so that you cannot take pictures of photos or documents which are prohibited <laughs>